okay this is the garden area that I'm going to be working on this afternoon I call it the fern bank it's an area about 70 feet long and it borders the outside edge of the circle driveway in front of the house the idea is that uh, I'm showcasing a lot of different kinds of ferns here uh, hence the name fern bank so I really like these estate markers and I've been getting a couple each year as I name different garden areas so this is marking the fern bank I've also been planting in here my ever-growing snowdrop collection I've got about 15 different cultivars now really like collections and snowdrops are a new passion so I've been getting a few each year really hoping that the clumps will really grow and spread out right now they're just they're surviving but um, like I said I just planted them recently and so they haven't really spread all that much I'm also putting a bunch of astilbes in here I tried several different kinds that I got bare root maybe three or four years ago not many of those have made it uh, so last year I got plants from a greenhouse in Lancaster of one cultivar called Maggie Daly ended up really liking it so I already have six I just went up there last week and bought five more of the Maggie Daly's and then I'm also going to be trying another a still be called country and Western looked kind of nice on the tag and I always say I put helibores in here they anything that the deer aren't eating that's what I'm concentrating on so I've also tried toad lilies tricertus I got a flat from North Creek uh, maybe two or three years ago and just planted them up and down the entire bank but hardly any survived the only ones that are still there are way up at the top closest to the house not sure why they're not doing good here but won't be trying that again so I'm just really filling in with ferns and still bees a few helibores here and there and of course the snowdrops but also kind of down over the bank I've been putting these lemon drop daffodils kind of in clumps on the hill behind this berm ferns all of this needs to be cleaned up my new astilbes planted I want to get compost around all the plants that are already here and then top dress it with my pine bark mini nuggets this is one of the areas I never got to last year before having to um, start taking care of my parents after their health my mom's health crisis but here are some ghost ferns I like those they're very silvery very distinctive I can definitely tell what those ones are without looking at a label the other thing I planted back here is one of those fringe trees I thought it was a goner but just this week I uh, started seeing it leafing out so happy about that what else this is maidenhair fern and coming up towards the end of the berm this is where the few toad lilies that are surviving are so just thought I'd get a before of what it looks like before the spring spruce up and a couple new plantings and I'll take a video when I'm done.